Hello, Gemini. This is your <clears throat> special edition love story, love scope for mid-February 2017. And what makes this special is I am looking at <clears throat> a very specific stream of energy, a very specific storyline of love for Gemini. This reading is outside of my normal monthly love scopes and since I am picking up and tapping into a very specific stream a very specific story this will not resonate with everybody okay I've also uh, drawn three different advice for you there's four cards of each uh, advice here option one option two or option three you need to decide which of these options you are most drawn to as that is spirit bringing you additional information about your situation okay so I will have them time stamped at the end so you don't have to sit through all three of them okay now <clears throat> for you guys very interesting even though I am looking at one love story I see how this is playing out kind of on three different levels actually or I should say three different main similarities like okay first of all for the energy that I have representing you I have the Queen of Swords which you're Gemini so I'm not surprised to see you coming through as a air energy then for the other party involved in this love story we have the queen of coins so for some this is a same-sex relationship and it doesn't have to be female female but the way that energy has come out for some this love story is about a same-sex relationship and perhaps the distinguishness or distinguishing the difference between like bringing that out to light is important for you because that gets your attention like okay yeah this is spirit talking to me the next scenario I have with this love story is there are two people in your life And then lastly, this <clears throat> is where you and somebody were together and you are apart, but I see you coming back together. So those are the three main scenarios that I see playing out in this love story. So what I have is children, chemistry, this could be the one separation, free yourself, and then engagement. So, Gemini, what this is telling me about this love story is this. You came together with somebody and it was very playful and innocent and pure. There was a lot of chemistry between the two of you and in moments or maybe all the time you were like this is the one for me this is who I'm supposed to be with and then there was a separation between the two of you whether you broke up with them they broke up with you or life circumstances has come in between and what's interesting is we have separation and then free yourself followed by engagement so I feel as though whatever separated you 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 guys are going to free yourself from those circumstances or if it was a triangle situation it's like you are finally deciding between the two different people you're picking one and you're gonna say 
you are the one for me. There's nobody in this world like you. If this is a same-sex situation where maybe there was some stigma around it or... There's no deception here. I, I don't get negative energy. In fact, honestly, I'm totally perplexed as to why there's separation in the first place. And that's why it it really feels as though it's outside forces, life circumstances. Um, but the energy of this love story no matter what separated you is a coming back together in a much stronger way. Now, this is somebody that equally loves you, Gemini. This love story is of equal love and affection. Now, you may have been confused in the past about your feelings and exactly what you wanted, but this person has always known that they wanted you. They've been very stable and consistent in that. <clears throat> and like I said, this is a love story, so I'm picking up a very specific stream of energy. So if this isn't fitting, this is not for you. This is not speaking about your relationship. This is a situation where the Gemini has been the one uh, unsure or maybe even fearful as you're showing as the Queen of Swords and I've said this in other readings I'm not sure if I've said it in Gemini so I'll say it now the Queen of Swords is my favorite queen of the tarot deck I am a Pisces but this queen I love her she is the most badass queen of the whole tarot deck the difference with her is the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles, they typically sit on their throne out of birthright or just they're born <clears throat> into life circumstances. And this is just a, a generalization. This is not set in stone. Okay, I'm just trying to paint a picture of this queen here for you. This queen sits in her throne because she has gotten herself there. This is the superstar that was born in the ghetto that had everything against them, but they prevailed. They fought their way. This queen, she's a fighter. She is not a victim. If she falls down, she stands up, strains her crown, and moves on. Okay, it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt and that she doesn't feel pain. But she is badass, and not just being badass in general as a person. She could tear anybody up intellectually with her tongue. Maybe she could kick your ass even. She has just been through it all, and she is very wise, and she's learned from it. And the logic of her mind is out of this world. The, her heart, she it does not control her, okay? And... Sometimes that can be a flaw in somebody, but for you, I feel it's a strength. You've just, you've been through a lot and you sit on your throne because you got yourself there. And because you've got yourself there, you are fearful. You do protect your kingdom, okay, so to speak. You're not willing to just let any person up in there because you had to fight for what you have. And so, even though in this love story, this other person involved has always loved you and has always wanted to be with you and offer you a stable, loving relationship, you have been kind of withdrawn, guarded, not so interested in giving all of yourself. Not because this person is not worthy or treats you badly but rather because of your own fear and insecurity of the past. So that's why these three different scenarios come into play. Maybe if this is a same-sex relationship, 
this is the first time you've really had true feelings for somebody of the same sex even if you've dated the same sex all your you know dating life there's something quite special about this person or maybe your family doesn't accept this person you know there's a stigma attached to this person though I don't think it's about them and who they are to you and how they treat you it's maybe how others see that person and that may be what has separated you and you've been in this place of contemplation and with these cards you and this person are beautiful together okay even if you are male male you're coming through as queens because I feel that feminine energy is talking about real love and nurturing growth fertility it's tender and sweet it it's it's real and both court cards showing as queens is there's a balance here you guys are made for each other <clears throat> even if it feels that you're opposites it's you're made for each other now for other Gemini's the separation comes into play because there are two different people that you've been dating and one of them you definitely have a stronger connection for but again perhaps you stay in this triangle or you've been in this triangle because you don't want to be hurt you don't want to love anybody but alas you you have feelings for this person so you break away from them out of fear but you need to free yourself from that fear because this person I really there is so much potential here for you and I believe what you are afraid of has nothing to do with who they are I mean coming through as an earth energy they are stable they are loyal they have your back see even in this <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry the way these came out look you are looking ahead you are protecting yourself with that beautiful sword here's this person look she's staring at you she's looking at you and she's holding a bouquet she comes with flowers you come with a sword she means you no harm you know she just wants to love you but you are afraid and lastly the you know if this isn't a same sex or there isn't a triangle situation again I feel you are distant or you separated from this person because of your own fear now if you are a Gemini and you're separated from somebody or you, all of this was you know really resonating with you but the other person involved isn't stable isn't trying to work on it isn't open to you this isn't about you this love story here is about somebody who really loves Gemini and who is stable in that love and brings you flowers as you stand there holding a sword feeling the need to protect yourself and you're like protecting yourself from Mother Teresa here okay this person it's just the energy of her and she's looking right at you she doesn't want anybody but you she wants to be your queen or he wants to be your king there's no reason for you to fear and I see you freeing yourself from whatever has separated you from this person and I see you guys coming back together and becoming much stronger than ever before. It's like you're just going to know. There's going to be no more doubts. And perhaps with children starting the reading, perhaps you separated because <clears throat> your partner wants children and you do not. And now with some time to think about it, 
you're coming back in and you're saying, okay, let's get married or yes, I, I want to have children with you. We can do this. You're the one for me and I need to be fair here. I'm just afraid and I'm going to let that go because I know that you would make an amazing parent. So there is chemistry here and there is love and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you're, you seek and then right below that engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment don't be afraid of this love this is so beautiful and this other person involved is so stable and secure in their love and desire for you they truly want to give you the world and you just need to free yourself from any sort of fear that may be holding you back and if you're in a triangle you know don't don't miss your opportunity for this love because this person right here what they are trying to give to you they deserve to receive in return 100 percent and the universe is trying to hand them to you and if you don't take it the universe is going to give them something else that they deserve okay because they are a very beautiful soul and you need to love and appreciate them for the beautiful being that they are that you know for what they have been trying to offer you and bring to you it just I feel they are a really good match for you okay so I'm going to get into the um, advice outcome cards here. I'm going to start with option one. If you are more drawn to option two or to option three, go ahead to the description box below and click the timestamp for those options, okay? So for option one, we have new beginnings, balance, the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye. <clears throat> Recognize what this is all about and then patience. So, for you guys, New Beginnings being the first card out, it goes right back to <clears throat> this card here, the engagement card. You and this person have an opportunity at a new beginning that is much more balanced and aligned because you have been in contemplation getting to the heart of the matter with inside yourself and this person has had the utmost patience for you and this card to me always speaks of a very pure innocent youthful energy well your reading starts out with the children card that that same energy and you really need to have patience with the other person involved as well as with yourself and the universe and go into contemplation because here's another baby another child so very strong the separation or whatever and maybe you're not even physically separated it's in your mind or in your emotions you've disconnected from this person perhaps there is a child involved but Spirit is saying you need to free yourself from all fear because what is, is. You need to come into a place of balance and walk into this new beginning and have patience and really see what this is all about. Really look inside of you because the answers aren't about anybody else. They're about you, what's inside of you. And there's this whole new world ready to open up for you but <clears throat> it may not be exactly how you hoped or wanted it to be but it looks like a really good thing and whatever was hanging you up or holding you back I see you overcoming that with this person and moving on into a very balanced and happy new beginning fresh start going into the future okay so 
that's the energy of the now and take that for what it's worth to you and apply that to your life if this love story is speaking to you and you're a Gemini that is holding back from this beautiful person for whatever reason for some of you it's, it has to do with the child or something along those lines so I hope that this brought you some guidance and clarity and that you really free yourself from whatever's holding you back because this is very beautiful love that is being extended to you okay so have a beautiful month now if you chose option two we have self-acceptance miracles rest and relaxation is essential we all have a fundamental need to take breaks and perception so This here, if you are in the same sex relationship, this feels very strong, actually, self-acceptance. And then rest and relaxation, that goes right alongside the separation card, okay? And then for yourself, perception. So, Those that are in this love story where this person is really just loving you and you are pulling back, there again, it's something about you inside of you that you need to accept and overcome. And that's why you are separated from this person at this time. But in this place of rest and relaxation and self-acceptance, it shifts your perception about everything. and. It's like that allows the miracle to come in to heal this situation, but it's your choice. It, it really starts with you. And if you are separated, use this time to really reflect and go within and think about who you are. Not that you're a bad person. There's, there's not cards like that here. It's there's something about you that you need to accept and Again, that's that same sex relationship. Maybe this is the first time you have had feelings for somebody of the same sex and you're having a hard time with that. Well, you've taken some time out to really consider it and with miracles here, <laughs> this is beautiful. You need to let go of your judgments, your stigmas, your prejudices, your ingrained beliefs that aren't even yours, it, it, they belong to other people. This is beautiful and such a blessing to you, this person. Who cares what anybody has to say, think, believe, judge, it does not matter. Don't lose out on this because of that. This miracles this person is something special and <clears throat> I really hope in this time that you are apart from them you really marinate on that and it changes your perception whatever is making you afraid and holding you back let it go you <clears throat> and it might be that they love you so much you don't feel worthy like of that love like why do you love me like this? Like, I'm nothing. Well, you are something. You're something really special. Or they wouldn't be here loving you like that. So, if you're drawn to this advice from the Spirit, love who you are and accept them 100% for who they are. And who cares what anybody else has to say for whatever reason there's naysayers or for whatever reason you might be fearing the naysayers. There is beautiful chemistry here. There is connection. This could be the one. This is something special. And the moment that you decide that it's okay for you to love this person and be with them or that you're worthy or that you're capable, then bam, the miracle happens. It just flows and you guys get 
very, I don't want to say serious, but it's like the relationship just solidifies and roots rapidly. And it's just, you're in and they're in and it's 100% and you're happy. And the fact of overcoming and freeing yourself from whatever held you back from this person is like a miracle later on when you're looking back you you think about it and you're like oh my god you and I were written in the stars how we came together and everything that happened that was like a miracle it was so magical and it's going to bring you a sense of awe as of like now that energy might be making you afraid but when you free yourself from the fear you accept it and you move forward when you look back you're going to be like this is the most magical thing that's ever happened to me. And it's all because your perception changed and you let go of fear. And it makes you a stronger person in the long run. And, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of this love. This is so beautiful to me. So if you were drawn to option two, that is the additional information I have for you from spirit I hope that that offered you guidance and um, some clarity okay so take care of yourself Gemini all right if you chose option three we have focus forgiveness <clears throat> forgiveness nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments and power so <laughs> For those of you that are um, drawn to this third option of cards here, forgiveness twice, um, I feel if the forgiveness here is in this storyline, it's this person may need to forgive you for whatever you have been doing because again I feel in this situation it's Gemini that's been kind of holding back not because you're playing games or anything like that but because coming through as the Queen of Swords you've been through it and this person may really scare you because of the chemistry you feel the love the connection and you may have pulled back and because of that it caused them pain and there's forgiveness that's needed here now and you might be afraid of that and also because you have been through a lot up to the point of this person you need to forgive and let go and with focus starting out it's like this is what frees you because I was as I was quiet there I got really distracted because the free yourself card was like hey hey right here right here so what frees you is your focus on forgiveness and asking once you have gone through that within yourself whatever you need to forgive and let go of about your past or even this could be there's things about yourself you need to forgive where you've just been feeling really bad and holding on to it and feeling worthless or like a crappy person because of things that you've done in the long ago past and no it's time to let that go and your focus really needs to be on that and with power here this is universe saying I have your back in this forgiveness and because I have your back you put your focus there that is what frees you that is what frees you to be with this person that is what frees you for this person to forgive you. That is what frees you for you to forgive yourself. So if you are attracted to this set of information, so important that you take all of your energy, all of your mental power, all of your emotional power, and focus it on an emotional cleanse a releasing of energy that no longer supports you. It, the lesson is already incorporated in you, but you've held on to the hurt or the baggage of that lesson. And spirits saying, "You can, you can let that go now. 
You don't need to hang on to this anymore. I'm trying to move you forward in to this beautiful love. But you've got to forgive yourself. And maybe now you've done some things and this person needs to forgive you. But I see that happening with engagement here. As long as you truly put your focus and your energy into that, I see this relationship repairing and moving forward. Okay, 100%, but with forgiveness, twice out of two different decks, I don't know if there's a forgiveness card in the Vintage Oracle, but if there was, hey, you know, maybe that would uh, have shown up times three, just saying, but that's where your power is, that's where you are going to become empowered, that's where your freedom is found, is in forgiveness, and You'll know what that means because you've been living your life, so you know where forgiveness is due or where you need to forgive so that you can move forward, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this resonated and brought you clarity, and I hope that you guys have a fabulous month. Deb and I, take care.